Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Story Mode, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road, the game that plays itself. Better than I could, anyway. Before we go forward, let me go ahead and get some bonuses from some of these enemies we've been defeating. Well, the one enemy. Listen, that one HP might make all the difference. You don't know. Anyway, lots of fights, let's go! Well, hello, new face. Hey, Balder, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Ericus. Doggone it, I gotta come up with another voice. Shoot. Something on your mind? It's not like these voices have been that different <laughs> to begin with, but still. Yeah. My sister left for her Mark of Mastery exam, but I have this really bad feeling about it. It's that time already, huh? Shouldn't you be excited for her? I can't wait to get out there. The thing is, before she left, she told me that the ones who return will be made Keyblade Masters. Huh. That kinda sounds like they're not expecting everyone to come back. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a trip to broaden their horizons. Maybe the trip itself is the test. Or even a mission? All I know is, it doesn't sound like the Mark of Mastery exam we learned about. Hmm, I wonder what's going on. We could ask Master Odin, but I doubt he'll tell us. Ever since my sister left, I've been worried sick that she'll be lost to darkness. And that I'll never see her again. Darkness? Oh, that's right. Your grandfather battled the darkness, didn't he? That's how he... I... I don't know exactly what happened to him. It's just that when I hear darkness may be close by, I get anxious. Maybe hating darkness is in my blood. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up a painful subject. Don't worry, it's okay. Your sister's gonna be fine. I'm sure of it. I hope so. On the one hand, it's kind of like a relief to have... It's hard to know exactly how important this story is going to be in the long term, because, like, the Xehanort overall saga is ostensibly over. Kingdom Hearts 3 has wrapped that up. And it sounds like Kingdom Hearts, or it seems like, Kingdom Hearts is going to kind of move on now. So anything happening with Xehanort specifically really is just filling in some gaps in this character story and maybe by association, like, shedding some light on other points in time, other characters of interest, things that may go on to become important later in the story once Xehanort no longer is. It's hard to know how important this is going to end up being. We are getting introduced to a lot of other characters. And it seems weird to introduce a whole bunch of other characters who have all been thought out and designed and everything if none of them are going to have any relevance whatsoever to anything that comes next. I guess we'll find out, huh? As it stands, it feels to me so far like Union Cross is going to be the one that has a story with far more long-term ramifications for where Kingdom Hearts goes. It, it feels like future Kingdom Hearts games are probably going to work more with the Union Cross Foundation than anything that's happening with Xehanort specifically. But who knows, man? It's Kingdom Hearts. One year ago. Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Huh? Of course I have. 
Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war over the ownership of the light. Yeah, the Master's favorite story. I wonder what they planned on doing with Kingdom Hearts after... making it appear. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So... You know the Lost Masters. Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or... They're the ones for whom the war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. A prospective Keyblade Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. The future. It's already been written. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps. But unlike darkness, there's more to light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. Oh, hey, a new world. Delightful. Episode 4, Cruel Clues. Well, it's official. I'm lost. But I did find this amazing castle. I wonder if anyone's home. Oh, I think I hear someone. What wouldst thou know now, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall, who shall forever rule o'er all? Thou will, my liege. Wow, that mirror knows all the answers. Maybe it can help me too. I feel like that mirror would love to answer a different kind of question for once. There you are. We were worried. Are you all right? Yeah. You said you wanted to come with us, and then you went off on your own. We need to stick together. I know, I'm sorry. I was chasing a butterfly, and then I looked around, and you were gone. Why am I not surprised? Hurry, men! Hurry! Bah, I told you that mine tunnel was brewing trouble. That's why I'm coming with you. No time for fussing. We gotta help him out of there. Don't you think I know that? They must be from this world, but I don't think they're likely to harm us. I don't think so either. It also sounded like they had their hands full. Something about a mine? There must have been a cave-in. If someone's trapped, we might be able to help.
What did we just say about going off on your own? You're one to talk. Hey, a new place to fight. That's kind of nice. Now, I would skip ahead here, but, um... So this is interesting. We are now starting episode four, again, out of eight that were totally released before the game was concluded. Um... We've completed 70 quests so far. There are only 105 in the game. That means the last five chapters only have 30 quests between them. <laughs> so we've finished... We are two-thirds through all the actual quests to do. <laughs> and we still have five chapters left. So there's basically far fewer quests between story bits now, and far fewer quests per chapter, which honestly is kind of a blessing. The only thing that might be a trade-off is if, like, the difficulty increases considerably from quest to quest now. I don't exactly know what to expect on that front. Maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> if anybody has been, by the way, intrigued by the prospect of idle games, which are games that... I guess I've never really defined them. It's a kind of game that you can kind of actively play, but sort of, like, passively make progress in, in between. It, it's a kind of game that's meant to be, like, checked in on every now and then, as opposed to actively played all the time. Um, Cookie Clicker, basically, is, like, the definition, the, pro the quintessential idle game is Cookie Clicker. And, uh, it can be a kind of fun sort of game to play. Like, if you're just, like, if you're working or whatever and you want something that you can kind of, like, glance over in another tab, click a few things for a few minutes to kind of bump some progress forward and then let the rest kind of keep going on its own, it's just, like, a fun kind of mindless thing. And there have been some fun versions of that game that have more or less strategy to them. Like, Cookie Clicker is just a basic get more things to, <laughs> like, acquire cookies to buy currencies and, and to buy things that enable you to gather cookies faster, get those cookies and buy bigger things that like, can just progress and progress and progress and progress. Uh, there's other ones that do have some more strategy to them, like, um, like, I don't think this is an exquisite idle game, but like Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realm, I want to say. It's a D&D branded one that's out on like mobile and Steam, which is a little bit like so many of these games are on mobile, which means that so many of them have like monetization structures and models that are really money grubby and that's like to a, to an extent that it makes the games considerably worse and idle champions can be that way but one thing that i did like about that one is that idle champions allows you to like there's a lot of strategy to it when it comes down to like team comp there's a whole bunch of different champions and figuring out who to add to your party and in what like order what party lineup can really make a big difference in terms of how effective your group is at advancing and getting through stuff. Like, I, I liked the strategy of that one. Uh, another one that is a pretty fun, like, if you're just looking for a pretty good idle game to play on mobile, uh, Soda Dungeon 2. I have found, I've been playing that one a little bit recently. That one's quite good and also not money grubby at all. Like, there are some microtransactions you can pay, but like a limited number of them that are not super overpriced. And then once you've bought them, you've bought them and you've got it and it's just play as long as you want. It's a really solid game. There's so much better than this. If you're looking for a good idle game, this is not it. <laughs> this is not a very good idle game at all, but I am glad that we can experience the story and I am glad that the theater mode thing exists as well. Like that's, it's, I'm glad that this is still available so we can see the story and where this falls in the whole Kingdom Hearts chronology or whatever, but don't pick this game up to like play it. It's not, it's not worth it. Anyway. Who are you? And what are you looking at? Ah, uh, don't find it. Uh, mind him. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. We thought you might need a hand. So someone's trapped behind that boulder. What are you going to do? That's not a bad idea. A keyblade might do the trick. Or not? Whoa. Gosh, thanks.
Eh? Achoo! It was awful dusty. <sighs> yeah, it was too dark to sleep good in there. Handshake. We're mighty grateful for your help, friends. We could have fixed it fine. But I suppose we ought to thank you. Now all seven of us can get back to work. Seven, huh? Just like us. That was awesome. We've got company. Oh, for Pete's sake. Now what? It's kind of cute. If this don't stop, the whole mine will collapse. Bop it. Get somewhere safe. Do you think it caused the cave-in? I don't know, but the only thing to do now is to... Clobber it! I guess we will. You know, maybe we'll luck out. If there's only, like, 30 quests left in this thing, maybe the difficulty curve on them doesn't increase any faster than the other quests have, and we'll just be able to burn through the rest of these. He said, wishful thinkingly. We're supposed to be tracking darkness, right? I don't know if we're gonna get anywhere by just defeating random Heartless that we encounter. We all knew it wasn't gonna be easy. Actually, it might be. A castle. An all-knowing mirror. Come see for yourselves. Maybe I will. So this is it. What wouldst ye know? Ooh, can I go first? I want to know how to beat Xehanort in chess. Ericus. It's a game with black and white pieces called Alba and Otter. Please ignore him. Aww. We're looking for some classmates who went missing. Do you know where they are? The friends you seek travel hither and yon. Along separate paths, alone they forge on. So they're on their own. Let's see if we can at least track down one of them. Can you tell us where Vidar is? The one... Silence! Must I remind you whom you serve? Who are you? Insolent boy. From this castle I rule all. Oh, um... Well, we, uh, we heard about the mirror and wanted to check it out. Do you mind if we ask a few questions? You barge into my keep and dare ask a favor. The mirror is mine, and mine alone. Hmm. But you may approach this once, if you wish. I have a bad feeling about this. Magic mirror on the wall. Consume these fools once and for all. Huh? What? Hey! Ah, dang.
Where are we? Not in the castle, that's for sure. Look out! It's the magic mirror! Why does it reek of darkness? I doubt it's gonna answer any of our questions now. You two ready? You bet. Of course. I hope so, I mean. I mean, we've managed so far. We haven't gotten taken out yet. Enemies are hitting harder. But so far, we're managing. Come on, recharge. Get in some heals. Yes, use the Tinker Bell. Almost got it. There we go. Beautiful. Still hanging in there. Are we back? I think so. Phew. It looks like she's gone too. All right, let's find out where Vidar is. That's not necessary. Hi, everyone. Vidar! Doggone it, there's so many voices. <laughs> and I'm getting the feeling they're introducing so many. These characters are going to start showing up in some other games, and I'm going to end up being very wrong on all of them. <laughs> We've been looking for you. I figured you'd show up. Master Odin sent you, right? Yeah. Wait, you knew? Then why didn't you just come home? Are you alone? You must be Xehanort. The Visitant. I see why you caught the Master's eye. There's something different about you. And you, Vor, there's something on your mind, isn't there? You're wondering if you really belong with these friends of yours. Why not join us instead, then? Huh? What are you talking about? Aren't you coming back with us? I can't. Not yet. There's something I have to do. What is it? You will see. I need your help. What do you say? I... I belong... Vor, you're coming with us, right? Actually, I... I asked the mirror a question of my own. Maybe... It can help me, too. Can I ask you something? What wouldst thou know? Will I ever become a Keyblade Master? With friends thy heart doth lie, content and free of woe. In comfort, stagnant calm, forward thou fail to go. That's not true. I want to become a Keyblade Master as much as everyone else. Stop making things up. No power have I save to offer what is true. Oh. Lately, I've started to realize how I really feel. I like what we have now, but if we all keep studying and eventually pass the exam, we'll go our separate ways. And I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Vor, you and I, we're never going to change. Isn't that right? Change is inevitable. You should embrace it and learn to build new relationships. That's not what you were supposed to say. 
Thanks, Ericus. Thanks, Xehanort. I've made up my mind. The longer I stay in this bubble, the harder it'll be for me to leave. Let's go, Vidar. Vidar's design is rad. I really love that, like, costuming. That's super cool. I hope a bunch of these characters come back. We haven't gotten a lot of time with them, but I'm liking them. Her heart and her mind are made up. Four. So, why do you all want to become Keyblade Masters? It was more of an obligation at first, like a family tradition. But now, I know in my heart that I need to become one and put an end to darkness once and for all. Serious much? For me, it's easy. I want to do what's right. I agree that power and justice go hand in hand. My dream is to learn and explore. If I become a Keyblade Master, I'll be able to see all the worlds for myself. I want to protect what's important to me. What you all said. Plus, I want to uphold the greater order. Simple as that. I don't know why, but I have friends I want to see again. Wait. Why would you need to become a Keyblade Master for that? Fine, don't tell me. Four, what about you? Oh. Me? Hi. I'm not telling. Wishes don't come true if you say them out loud. So now, none of you will get to become Keyblade Masters. Ha! Hey, no fair! Oh, well, that did go quick. Sixty-four years later. What wouldst thou know? Do you recognize me? A young boy then, now a man grown. Fewer hairs grace thy head, but you are known. A demonstration of my resolve. What else wouldst thou know? Over the years, I have lost many comrades. Some passed on, while others chose a different path. However, there will always be a special place in my heart for those friends I never met save in my dreams as a young lad. Alas, my efforts to find them have been in vain. I don't even know their names, but I can see their faces still. I ask you, did they ever exist? Or were they merely a figment of my imagination? Much lies beyond our world, even more beyond our time. Some in this world reside, their toll has yet to chime. How can you be sure, without even their names? Your heart speaks more clearly than your words. Where are they now? Where indeed? Amongst an ocean of keys on a vast, barren land. 
a boy bearing great light and darkness doth stand. The Keyblade Graveyard. Is this going to explain how Xehanort came upon Ventus and how Ventus is here in any way? <laughs> Does seem like that's where it's headed. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and bail because this is just moving a little bit faster now, but take care and I will see you next time for some more story mode. Goodbye.